There's a commercial on TV that talks about restoration. It shows a flooded out building and they come in and they bring their special vacuums and tools and they restore it to what it was before. And often when we pray with people, what they're really asking for is a restoration of their lives. Except that when God comes through you and to you, that you are not just restored, you are made better. And prayers are answered, but not just in the way that we ask for, it's always better. That's one thing that I know for sure as a minister of almost 40 years now, that every time that we pray and we hear back of the answers of prayers that have come, they're always better. In a, in a profound way, beyond what we could even imagine. It says in Matthew eleven twenty eight, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, the rest is also restoration. I pray that in God you are rested, and I pray in God you are restored. An important key to restoration was given by Jesus in his invitation. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. As you speak the words of this scripture, think of them as an invitation to rest from the, the things that have seemingly robbed your peace of mind in life, that God will come directly to you and through you to give you restoration. The Christ Spirit is always attentive to you, helping you to find, helping you to accept that which is for your highest good, to rest in the Christ presence means freedom from activity or labor or peace of mind and even more beyond what we can imagine. As spiritual beings, complete restoration comes from getting in touch with our direct connection with God. In the presence of God, we release all of the tension that is built up inside of us, all the stress, all the strain. In Christ, we are refreshed and renewed and revitalized. Restoration is more than the just the bringing together of the former good. It is a restoration that brings forth new good, even unimagined good, to match our new level of appreciation and understanding. I pray this day that you are in God and you are rested and you are restored.